Guys, so today's class on approximations and estimation. In this video, we want to learn how to solve questions on approximation to a given significant figure. And we have some problems on it. Now, it is important to note that if you are asked to approximate any number to any significant figure, first of all, check out where non-zero numbers start. Non-zero numbers simply mean numbers that are not zero. Check it out where it starts and start your counting from where that non-zero number starts. Let's see example. In the question number one, five eight nine four point nine nine zero zero two four seven. Now, before you approximate this number to any significant figure, it's important that you write your sign of approximation. This your sign of approximation must be written. That will tell anyone who see what you just wrote that you are dealing with approximation. Now we are doing approximation to a particular significant figure. Look at what I mean by where non-zero digits or where non-zero number starts. Number that is not zero is five zero. No, it means that it is from five that non zero number starts. But when you have something like 0 0.008541, number that is not zero, where did it start? It starts at eight. That means you start at eight to do your counting. But here it starts at five. Now, it means that I will start my counting from 5. I will count one single figure, I mean count the first number 5. Ask the next number by the right side. Add the next number 8. Are you up to 5? Now, if 8 is up to 5, the implication is call it 1. If you call it 1, add it to this 5, it becomes 6. Now, remember you counted only five. You notice that there are three digits before the decimal point. Because there are three digits before the decimal point, I will use three zeros to replace those three digits. That is the meaning to one significant figure. Now, to three significant figure, I will rewrite everything again. 5894.9900247. I put my sign of approximation. Very important. Now, three single figure. I'll start from non zero digits or non zero number, which is five, and count three. One, two, three. So it will stop at nine. What is the next number after nine? That is 4. Are you up to 5? No. Because it is not up to 5. What it now means is forget about it. It's not up to 5. I will write only this first three digits, which is 5, 8, 9. Now, that number, you ask yourself, how many numbers do you see before the decimal point? When you stop your counting point, how many number do you see before the decimal point? You only see one number. It means replace it with one zero. You say to three significant figures. We go to the next one, which is what? C. We still rewrite everything. 9900247. You put your sign of approximation. Now Five significant figures start from five and count. One, two, three, four, five. Five will fall at nine. That means I have passed the decimal point, I have reached the nine. Now, what is the next number? That is nine. Next number by the right is nine. Ask it, are you up to five? Yes. Since it's up to five, the implication is called it's one. Add it to 9, it becomes 10. 
write zero, carry one. Add it to this, it becomes five. You write five. So, there is no other one I carry again, no other one. So, I will now write from the beginning, five, eight, nine. Instead of writing four, I will write five. Point, point, zero to five significant figures. Now, we have solved to five significant figures. We now go to the last one, which is question D. A significant figure. To do it, write everything. Five, eight, nine, four, point, nine, nine, zero, zero, two, four, seven. You now say approximated to. So a significant figure. Let's see. Start your counting from the non-zero number, which is five. The first non-zero number, which is five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You stop at this zero. Now you ask the next number, which is two. Are you up to five? You say no. That means forget about it. That means you will write five, eight, nine. 4.9900 So, 8 significant figure. Now, an important information I want to pass to us on, on this is that when a number is not up to 5, like this 2 is not up to 5, instead of, if you write your answer to be 5894.9900, which is to this point, now, because it's not up to 5, if you forget about it and decide to replace this with 0, the way we did in the question A, to 3 single figure, to 1 single figure, you know, in 1 single figure, after approximating, we replace the remaining number with 0. In 3 single figure, we replace the remaining number with 0, which is 1, 0. Here, since this is not up to 5, and you just wrote these first eight numbers. Now, if you replace everything here with another three zero, that will be wrong. The reason is because these numbers are after the decimal point. So do not make a mistake and replace those numbers after zero, which is not up to five, or which is up to five, whichever is the case. Do not make a mistake to replace them with zero, the way we did in question A and question B. I'm going to question two. Round off two eight nine four one to A, three significant figure B, five significant figure. From the terms you are seeing here, correct, round off, estimate, approximate. That is telling you that these are common terms you will be seeing when you are dealing with approximations and estimation. Correct this, round off this, estimate this, approximate this, and so on and so forth. Now, round off 289451 to 3 square figure. What I should do? I'll write 289451, put my sign of approximation to 3. Where should I start my counting from? From the non zero number, which is 2. One, two, three. I will stop at three. That is, I will stop at number nine. Ask the next number. Are you up to five? No. I will round down. Rounding down means forget about it. Now, I will write only two, eight, nine. I have forgotten about the four, five, one. Because this four is not up to five. Now, the question is, does this number have a decimal point? Yes. Every number has a decimal point. Why? The decimal point of a number can be visible or can be invisible. Like this, the decimal point is invisible. Because whenever you see any number, let's say 3, it has a decimal point located at the back. Invisible decimal point. Any number without a visible decimal point has a decimal point at the back of it. So automatically, here is the decimal point of this number. That means we have four numbers, um, three numbers before the decimal point to replace with what? Three, zero. You now say this is the three significant figure. 
you come to five spherical figure, you still rewrite everything two, eight, nine, four, five, one. You now make your decimal point visible because you have known that each decimal point is located at the back. What you now do is count out five. One, two, three, four, five. You stop at number five. As the next number, which is one, are you up to five? It says no. That means round down. That I forget about it. I'll write the numbers before it. Now, because this number I asked, because that number falls before the decimal point, and it is only that number that falls before the decimal point, I will replace it with one zero because we have only one number before the decimal point. I will replace it with only one zero. That is to five significant figure. Now to solve question number three, estimate this to one significant figure, three, seven, and eight significant figure. I will first of all rewrite everything. One nine zero two eight one. 998 and I'll put my sign of approximation very important now question is where should I start my counting is it from zero no go to number that is not zero that is non zero digits start from it we are starting from one because one is the first non zero digit that is think that we got me start from the first non zero digits I will now count one single figure means count the first number one then as the next number are you up to five yes call it one add it to one it becomes two that is 0 0.002 so here we now become two because you call this one why you call nine one is because it's up to five so call it one add it to this two you have it to this to one several figure we we'll go to the next number, we we'll rewrite everything again. 281998. Approximated to. To three similar figure. I'll start from that one to do my counting. One, two, three. So I will stop at zero. This zero inside or in the middle of non zero digits is significant. Zero inside non zero digits is significant. It is not like this zero here. So it is significant. So we include it in our counting. Uh, is this up to five? No. That means forget about it. I'll write every other thing 0 0.00190. Now, because two is not up to five, I'll forget about it. I shouldn't replace them with what? 0, 0, 0. No, please don't do that. I shouldn't replace them with zero. Why? Why I didn't replace all this with zero is because they fall after the decimal point. So, so three significant figure. We go to seven significant figure. We rewrite everything. 0 0.00190281998. Now to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We stop at this first nine. Are you up to five? Yes. Call it one. Add it to nine, it becomes ten. Write zero, carry one. Add it to this, it becomes two. So we'll be having 0 0.001-9028. Now, here, instead of one, I will write two. Instead of nine, I will write zero. So seven significant figure. We'll do the last one. We now say that we write everything one nine zero two eight one nine nine eight. So eight significant figure. Put your sign of approximation. Count one two three four five six seven eight. It falls at the second nine. As the next number, are you up to five? As eight, are you up to five? Yes. That means call it one, add it to 9, it becomes 10. Write 0, carry 1. Add it to 9, it becomes 10. Write 0, carry 1. Add it to 1, it becomes 2. Write 2. So you'll be having 0 
Instead of writing 1, I will write 2. Instead of writing 9, I will write 0. Instead of writing 9, I will write 0. Now, I will not replace the remaining that 8 with 0. I will not replace it with 0 because it falls after the decimal point. So I will stop here. I will say to 8 significant figure.